Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dante's Analysis and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a artist that I haven't really listened to her before. So this is going to be my first time listening to her. her the artist's name is called Lord and she released her latest project called Solar pa Power. I was about to say Solar Panel, but it's called Solar Power and it was released on August 20th, 2021. And as I always do, I'm just going to get into the backstory of the artist and the project, and I'm just getting into the track listings. So, Solar Power is the third studio album by Lord, released on August 20th, 2021. The album is her first release after four years hiatus from music following 2017's Melodrama. She first started dropping hints at a new project in 2020, starting with an interview with Blackbird Skyplane. And her trip to Antarctica seems to have influenced the record and is ushered in a new era for Lord with producer Jack Antaninoff at The Wheel, who worked with her on the past previous records on June 10th, 2021. The year's only Solar Eclipse Lord released the album's lead single, Solar Power, and sent an email to fans revealing its also the album title. And the song was also accompanied by the music video. And on June 21st, 2020, the summer sol solace oh shit, the, <laughs> the summer solace, the album became available to pre-order on Lord's website, revealing the track list and final release date she also sent another email to fans i'm gonna not gonna read into it but i'm pretty sure it's like explaining like what the whole concept of the album means and everything and on july 19 2021 lord's website updated once again revealed the that the sing, second single stoned at the nail salon would release two days later on july 24 2021 so the third single moon ring was released three days before the album's release on august 7 2021 so getting into this album when i just actually to be honest with you just reading this now it kind of does show me that lauren actually put into a lot of thought about this album especially the rollout because i actually just read that when the whole uh when she when uh, like when the solar when the summer solace came that's when the album became the pre-order and it was kind of it's kind of cool that she actually did that because i know her album title name was solar power so it kind of does have like a very like astrology type concept to it and that's really cool and yeah like she really thought this through man and it's actually really cool that th this is actually pretty creative for an artist to do and that's what i really like about artists like they put very like so much effort into their creativity and, and, and like the concept of the project and also the rollout on how they want to push the singles and it's actually really cool and i did like that very much and at first, I didn't know who this artist was at first. I thought she was a new artist, but when I saw her monthly Spotify listeners, she had like 19 million listener listeners. And also uh, my friend Trevor, he actually messaged, DM'd me on Instagram and said that you don't know who she is. And I was like, I, I, I didn't know who she was. I probably heard her before, but I just don't remember. But when he told me about the song called Royals, and I played back the music, I was like, oh, it's that artist. I, re I, re I haven't heard that song in such a long time. I went back to look at it. That song is like eight years old. It was made like eight years ago. And I was like, sheesh, I actually don't remember that record. That's crazy. I did hear it on the radio like a lot, but I just never really took the time to search up the artist who sung that song. So that was on me. But yeah, man, I could tell she's definitely a very talented artist. So diving into the track listings of the project, it contains 12 songs. And the first track is The Path, 2, Solar Power, 3, California, 4, Stoned at the Nail Salon, 5, 
Fallen Fruit, Sex Secrets from a Girl Who's Seen It All, Seven, The Man with the Axe, Eight, Dominoes, Nine, Big Star, Ten, Leader of the New Regime, Eleven, Moon Ring, and Twelve, Oceanic Feelings. So, get into this project i would say this is a very solid track listings for the project 12 songs nothing more nothing less and is actually perfect it's actually very perfect of the the timing of the project and i'll definitely say when i first listened to this project it was definitely new to me because i know i wasn't really familiar with her singing style or what type of like type of sound that she was gonna bring but it's actually like your typical like pop songs that you like some of them like you can hear on the radio it has like some like indie style like production but also has that little like pop feel to it very smooth very subtle like that's why that's the vibe that i got from this album very chill and calm and yeah man it's actually very dope at first i wasn't when i first listened to the project from beginning to end i wasn't feeling it too much maybe because of her singing style but as soon as i listened to the second time i was like okay i could groove with some of these tracks but however the and also there's actually no features on this project so that's actually pretty cool that she actually did this album with no features and I also didn't know that she was, she's actually from New Zealand and yeah, I actually don't know a whole lot of New Zealand artists, but it's actually pretty cool that she's an artist from New Zealand and her music made it all the way across the US, but she's done interviews in like the US and also performed on Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. And yeah, she did, she definitely does get some worldwide attention. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely say the positives of this project. It's definitely refreshing the sounds, especially with some of the production and the lyrical content and the and her singing style is very fresh and I like that. The thing I didn't like probably the singing style. I'll definitely say the singing I wanna say the singing was bad, like no, she's actually a, a very good singer. I guess it's just her voice is just something it takes you a minute to get into. It's not she's not like one of those singers that you listen for the first time and you're like, oh, I actually like the singing so but I feel like when I listened to her, I felt like okay, don't know where this is going or where the melody is going, but I can definitely appreciate the talent in her vocals, but I just, I just, it just takes a little bit of time for me to get into her singing style and how she does, how she approaches the project. That's what I was been trying to say. And yeah, those are the only negatives I have. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about this project. So the rating I'm gonna give this project, I'll definitely give it like a good 7.5 out of 10. Again, as I said before, the lyrical content is good. The production is good. As I said again about the negative, I didn't. It takes you a minute to get into her singing style. But again, she's a very talented singer. It just it just takes you a minute to. For me, I don't know how other people will feel, but it takes you a minute to, to get used to her singing styles. And yeah, man, that's really all I gotta say about this project. And I'll definitely say that she's a very She's a very talented artist, and I could definitely see that her progression that she's been doing throughout the years, and and I do like her hustle and also her uh, creativity when it comes to this product, so I could definitely respect that. And yeah, man, I'm pretty excited to see what she has in store for us in the near future. So the rating that I gave Lords solar power album is a 7.5 out of 10 and thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch you guys later bye